this time we're gonna start a new game of Space Station Alpha. Okay, let's skip tutorial. And we're going to turn events off and asteroids off. Because I just want to be able to show you what's going on here without uh, all hell breaking loose. So, okay, so you get the movement controls. You can figure all that out if you want to play with the tutorial. But we're going to start out make some deck here. Now one thing that's helpful to do is make a deck around the outside for solar panels because you need a lot of power also need another metal pallet and the worker bay they keep your guys going at a quick speed because they slow down as you play and they need to recharge and then they get faster and now to speed up something you take and you just hit build on it again. And then you get the little uh, lightning bolt. It means they're going to do it faster. So you do that, that, and then they'll put priority on this piece here. And once they get that done... Alright, now, what you don't want is just a single door heading out into space. So what you're going to want to do whenever you make out your deck plan get it all set up and then for the outside like here we'll put a uh, we'll let them exit to the outside here we'll take and destroy the bulkhead let's hire more workers we'll get two more that way it doesn't take as long We need to put a door here, and then we'll put a door here, and this will be our airlock. Now, see, whenever things start smoking like this, it means they need repaired. So what you do, you go to workers, come over here, click on this. You can send them to fight fires, operate turrets, or perform maintenance. So you're gonna want at least one guy doing that. We'll want to go ahead and close this off. Now you need a 3x3 three three area for living quarters. So we'll make this living quarters. And actually we need... We're going to use destroy on this that we set up. And we're going to extend that out a little bit. So we're going to make private rooms. Now, private rooms are going to be necessary for whenever we get a command room. and So we'll need officers and scientists to be able to research and operate that. Okay, now to make an airlock. Click on the door, click link, and then you link it. You right-click to get out of that. And now whenever one of these is open, the other one will close automatically. Go ahead and designate this area. This will be the private room. So let's take and make our command and control room here. Now each room has a different minimum size two four nine nine but engineering you can't really do anything with it until after you get some things researched so it's not a priority another thing is these uh, worker bays and different things they use electricity to operate to just idle and stay on but then whenever you have somebody using it the power consumption goes up so see how it dropped after he got off? Now the next one gets on there. Went up. So you gotta watch out because you could have a bunch of stuff all turned on. And it looks like you're fine for energy. But then all of a sudden somebody starts using it. Power consumption shoots up. And then you're 
power turns off. And that's always a bad deal. Right, so let's get some stuff placed here. Do two oxygen generators. Two food replicators. Replicators have to be faced along the wall. And we'll do our cryo sleep chambers. I'm just do four for right now. And here, we're going to put doors all the way across this. And then segment these into two block rooms. I'm also going to want to install a command console. And our science lab. Which I'm pretty sure building all this stuff is going to put us over the electricity consumption that we have, so we'll build some more of these. Now one thing with these solar panels, like um, it actually uses the block inside for the solar panel. So say you take this one and you want to put it here, you can't because there's the science, whatchamacallit, doohickey. So it's got to have an open square next to the wall for it. Why is it saying two of our builders are idle? There's plenty of stuff to build here. I don't know exactly what they're doing or... Okay, they got... They get trapped outside? Oh. Yeah, you know what it is? There's no, uh... There's no way to get into here. That's what the problem is. So as soon as we knock this down... this down. It'd be nice if there was a little notification whenever they got blocked. And granted, I should have known better and seen that, but yeah. now the energy shut down because it went over consumption. Now what you can do... Go away, I don't care. I'm trying to make a video here. Go, go, okay. Alright, so we got here on. You press it once. It turns on the electricity. Press it again, turns on all your gadgets. Which, of course, is probably going to put us over again. So we'll just turn on the electricity <laughs> and wait for them to, uh. Well, let's turn on the worker base. Another thing that would be nice is if you could double click on these to turn them on instead of having to click and then go down here. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, I think whenever somebody walks by, it clears it out, whether they're actually doing the repair or not, or the, uh, sorry, building or not. Okay, now hopefully we have, no. Like I said, these things require a ridiculous number of solar panels to work. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just, I'm going to get stupid with this. <laughs> I'm just going to get stupid with it. We're just going to take... Because I'm, I'm not playing with this trash anymore. Ah, oh, I have no money. Damn it. <sighs> okay, so... We're going to need oxygen. Let's turn on the oxygen. Now, to make sure the oxygen gets distributed... It won't go through doors unless you click on the door, go to the toggle vent. Let's say vent open and the air will go through the door just like it's open, even if it's closed. It'd be nice if there was a little animation that would, you know, give you a visual indication that the vent was open, but it's alright. When we click on show oxygen, we can see that we have a fully oxygenated space station. So let's go ahead and accept visitors. We'll 
turn on one food replicator, two sleep chambers. We'll go ahead and leave these uh, robot base turned off. Because this is making us money. Our food replicators and sleep chambers. Okay, now this bed in the private room means that we just got a permanent resident. So if you go over here to residence, you come down. You can see the visitors. They'll be here and they don't have anything by their name. But the actual permanent residents have something here. Click on and go down. Officers, command and control, scientists, research things, and entrepreneurs set up commercial shop areas. So we're going to go with an officer here. And another thing we want to do, take security, put this to nobody. If you put it to nobody, your robots will still be able to go through but you're not gonna have visitors wandering out here where there's no atmosphere getting themselves killed I'm like here we're only gonna want employees in here uh, once you get command and control set up you can change your policy right I went with scientists first look no I went with officer so why can't I see this Oh, you know what? This is turned off. It has to be turned on for it to work. So let's go ahead and turn off a food replicator. Because I don't think we have enough energy to run everything at once. Alright, now that we have an officer and we have this thing, we have no more... Damn! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try not to curse here. <laughs> okay, so... We want oxygen while everyone's running around suffocating. Oh, this game is hard as hell. And there I went and I said it. Oh, well. This game is hard. Hard, hard, hard. I have asteroids turned off, random events turned off, and I'm still getting my butt kicked. So, I mean, that's just how it is. I just decided I'm not playing this game anymore. With this electricity, oh, we don't have enough power to do anything game. Like, no, we're going to have plenty of power. Alright, so now that this is closed off, it won't leak oxygen out. So, as the doors open, whenever this comes out, instead of going off into space, it'll stay here. So you'll see this slowly start to become oxygenated. Alright. Now we've got enough electricity to run everything. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay. Now what I was saying before, now that we have an officer and we have a control panel, we can go here to command controls. One officer recoil. Okay. Active command console. Of course, my officer died. <laughs> I told you it's hard. Okay. Now maybe we can do this. Go to command controls. Permanent resident limit. We'll go to three, because we have three rooms. Tourist limit. Let's go to eight. Prisoner limit, none. We're not set up for prisoners. So that's under the policy. Science is this stuff. Uh, we want fusion generators. I'm tired of this solar panel garbage. So we're gonna research this. Of course, we're going to have to take one of our residents, change them to a scientist. And then make sure that this is turned on. Okay. And then we've got this person. They'll be an entrepreneur once we get that part set up. So we're going to toggle vent. Toggle vent. Okay, and apparently we do not have enough oxygen production capacity <laughs> for this many visitors. So we're gonna need we're gonna need this built yesterday. Uh, 
we're gonna need to take and set another worker to maintenance because we're getting a whole bunch of stuff smoking here. Hire another worker bot. Tried to get two, but we didn't have enough money. Okay, I think those explosion sounds signifies the uh, damage has gotten severe enough for a venting atmosphere. So we're gonna go with three. You know, we're just gonna have to put everybody on maintenance because this thing is springing more leaks than a colander. But at least we got some sleep chambers here that are operational. We got some aliens, we got our two food. Alright, we're gonna sign everybody to maintenance just to get this whole dilapidated station thing under control. And then we're gonna move on to uh, building an engineering bay. You know what, we'll just designate this as engineering. It's got to be at least nine tiles. Uh, apparently, it doesn't matter what shape. So, this is engineering. Now, as soon as our fusion generators are researched, we can build one in here. And we're making pretty good bank in here with this. You know, one thing we're going to want to do is. We're going to want to build some more here. Commercial area, minimum size 10 tiles, okay. Actually, we don't want deck here, because that's in the way of our solar panels. I think it'll actually let you put it there, but it'll look ugly with visual clipping and all that, so. Now, it's kind of unfortunate they have to go all the way through this airlock here to get outside. But if I were to try to put a door here, I mean, I guess I could here, but this is our uh, officer's quarters. If I open the wall here, even for a second, this entire room's gonna vent atmosphere. And then all my guests are gonna suffocate. Alright, let's look at some other stuff while we're doing this. Alright. Um, see here we can build stairs. But what do stairs actually do? Well, stairs take you between levels. Using the page up and page down key, you can see here you can go to different levels. So here we're on the bottom level. Here's the next one up. So if I put something here, I can build some decking here on the second level. Now, I don't know if stairs allow oxygen to pass I'm not sure honestly it appears you can go up quite a ways okay looks like we're at the top so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay so I think 12 levels is what you can go up then and then once we get this walled off we can put in it we can take out this wall and uh, it'll just vent the atmosphere into this this room so this will go down a little bit but it won't it's not as bad as venting it into outer space you want much smaller rooms than that for an airlock okay unlink link link okay all right now we got our little airlock here we'll go ahead toggle vent and just vent out all the atmosphere now that way, if this catches on fire, it's not going to burn very long. Because there's no oxygen to sustain it. But, you have to make sure your security is set to nobody, so no people wander in there. Okay. So now, we take and make this a commercial area, which is not researched. So we need to research free capitalism. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll end it here and continue it on part two. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Stay classy, internet. Alright, we have a bunch of stuff that requires urgent maintenance, so...